Sadly, this isn't the first time that a sporting event has been targeted for attack. The 1972 Olympics are mostly remembered for tragedy rather than sporting excellence after 11 Israeli athletes were killed by the Palestinian terrorist group going by the name of Black September. And it was the Olympics targeted again in Atlanta in 1996 where the Centennial Park bombing killed one and injured over 100 others. In 1997, England's most famous horse race, the Grand National, was abandoned after two coded bomb threats from the IRA. And in 2002, it was football that was affected when Basque separatist organization ETA exploded a car bomb in Madrid just hours before the European Champions League semi-final. Nine people were injured, but the game did go ahead. Between May and July 2006, Iraqi sportspeople were the target of a number of attacks which saw 15 members of the Taekwondo team kidnapped, never to be seen again. The national tennis coach and two players were killed and there was also an attack on a sports conference in Baghdad. A dozen people were killed uh, when the start of the Sri Lankan marathon was hit in 2008. And in the same year, the Dakar rally was cancelled for the first time in its 30-year history after the threat of an attack from al-Qaeda. In March 2009, the Sri Lankan cricket team bus was attacked in Lahore in Pakistan. That killed seven people. And international cricket hasn't been played in Pakistan since. And three people were killed and nine were injured when the Togo football team bus was ambushed in Angola during the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations. Amanda Davis, CNN, London.